If you believe that calories in, calories out are not the end all be all, let me get a big heck yeah down below in the comment section. Look it, I am a reasonable person and I do not deny laws of physics. Thermodynamics still do apply, but it's not apples to apples. And I have a great analogy to give you that came to mind and I feel like it is something that'll help you out a lot in understanding how our body uses calories at specific points in time. Please do hit the red subscribe button and then please hit the bell icon. And then after this video, check out my friends over at Unbun Foods. Seriously, like honest truth, I have never in my life had a keto bread that tastes so good. We got these Unbun grain-free tortillas. These are water, blanched almond flour, pumpkin seed protein, coconut flour, psyllium husk, olive oil, coconut milk, flax meal, chia seed meal, apple cider vinegar, and salt. This is cool. Basically just made myself a buffalo beef taco. They also have a plant-based version. It is unbelievable, like earth shattering. And I'm not just saying that because yes, they do support this channel, but seriously, it is a game changer. So if you are looking for a low carb keto bread and keto bagels and all kinds of baguettes, and please, 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 please check them out down below. There is a special link, but they are also now going to be in Whole Foods and they are also in all kinds of retailers. So I put their link down below so you can see their store locator and all this stuff. Thank you Unbun Foods for making my life normal again. If we think about a fire, fire burns differently in different environments, okay? So what is it to say that when we consume calories, it's going to burn, they're going to burn in the same way that they will burn all the time. Okay, aren't there different environmental factors in our own body? So the analogy here is, if I were to start a fire, a campfire, and it was 1% humidity, and it was windy, that campfire might take off and burn a little bit hotter. But if I light that campfire and it's 99% humidity, and it's dead still out, and there's these other factors, I'm gonna have a hard time lighting that fire, right? Okay, it's the same kind of thing in our body not literally with humidity, but there are other factors environmentally in our body that change how we use calories. And I think the biggest, biggest indicator that anybody could see if they look at the data is that eating in the evening time, right? Eating a lot of calories at night tends to cause people to gain more weight. And even if they're eating the same amount of calories as someone that is eating earlier in the day, the same amount of calories, same macronutrients, there is a study that was published just in November of 2020 that demonstrated this. And then another study three weeks later, November 30th, that demonstrated the same thing, okay, in the Journal of Current Biology. I mean, it was right there in front of us, okay, that you can eat the same amount of calories, but if you are consolidating those calories more towards the evening, then you're going to gain more weight. Now, most people that are going to make a calories in, calories out only matters argument. Now, again, I'm going to be honest here. I totally understand where they come from with calories in, calories out. It still applies. It is a law of physics. It applies, but it just doesn't take into consideration that calories are going to be burned at different rates still. It still matters. Like, but if you, so the argument is generally, well, you're eating these calories at night right before you're sedentary. So you're not moving. Well, because you're not moving, that means that the rate of calories you're expending versus consuming is different. It has more to do with the different environmental changes, right? Our hormones shift in the evening. I want you to think of hormones like humidity. When the hormones shift and we start getting tired, we start, you know, the sun goes down, it's like we just increased humidity. So we can throw a bunch of food at the fire or a bunch of wood at the fire, but it's not necessarily going to burn hotter, right? We want our metabolism to kind of burn hot a little bit but it's not necessarily burning hotter. So what ends up happening? We store it, we store it easier, but we also have all kinds of other effects because we're not utilizing the food. Insulin resistance, we have all kinds of other things that come to be. So if you think of calories in, calories out as a campfire or a forest fire, it just makes sense. And then what about maybe your sleep? Maybe you're sleep deprived. Well, that sleep deprived maybe makes it so it's less windy. The point is, is it's a great analogy and a great way to see it. And we all have to stand together and we have to look broader. The problem that I have with calories in, calories out, isn't the fact that it's incorrect. I'm, 
It's the fact that we're not looking at that how we should going down these different avenues and these different directions. So if we consume a calorie, that calorie may be acting different in my body today than it will tomorrow. But yes, I will give you credit where credit is due. That calorie is still a calorie. That is absolute. And that is a law of physics. And our body is going to obviously store more if we are in a surplus. But a surplus today is different from a surplus tomorrow. Mind expanded, forward thinking, pursue your results and reinforce them with science that we see even retroactively. As always, keep it locked in here on my channel, and I'll see you tomorrow.